Hey there, I'm Dr. Ron Wilson. At Wilson Orthodontics, we've helped people just like you get that perfect, healthy smile they've always dreamed of. Our talented team is the best around, and they treat all our patients like they're part of the family. Children and adults love our exciting game room. Ride in style in our H2 Hummer Brace Bus. Surf the web in our state-of-the-art internet cafe. And now, we have our very own charity spa. Call us today to schedule your free consultation, and we look forward to seeing you here soon. With this Access News Break, I'm Derek Booth. Forsyth County and the City of Cumming are reportedly at odds again on a water agreement. Cumming officials say there was no specified price for raw water that goes beyond the county's regular allocation. According to the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, the entities reached tentative agreement in May on a contract for the county to continue buying water from the city. New preliminary jobless numbers out Thursday morning show a rise in the rate for Metro Gainesville and the Georgia Mountains region. The Labor Department says Gainesville rate rose to 7.5% in June, up six-tenths of a point from May. In the Georgia Mountains area, the rate rose to 8.2% last month, up seven-tenths from May. Firefighters from Hall County and the city of Gainesville will distribute donated food and fire safety tips to 229 Meals on Wheels households beginning Thursday. Thanks to a donation from the Georgia Mountain Food Bank, each Meals on Wheels recipient will receive a box of non-perishable food items. In addition, firefighters will perform a residential safety survey in the homes to identify possible fire hazards and install smoke detectors where needed. Funeral arrangements have been set for the stepson of Grammy-winning pop star Usher three weeks after the child was critically hurt in a boating accident on Lake Lanier. A spokesman for the Willie A. Watkins Funeral Home says the funeral for 11-year-old Kyle Glover will be held Friday at Wyuka Road Baptist Church in Atlanta. And DeKalb County officials are announcing a new initiative aimed at the county's refugee and immigrant students. DeKalb is home to one of the state's most diverse school districts and has nearly 17,000 students whose primary home language is not English. With this Access News Break, I'm Derek Booth.